everyone hope all of you are fine and doing very very well we are here to present a lecture through the platform of pharmacology notes and it is delivered by registered pharmacist Humara Shaheen the gold medalist today's topic is about sympathomimetic drugs means all those drugs which mimic the action of sympathetic nervous system what is sympathetic nervous system sympathetic nervous system is a type of a nervous system which activates in the case of stress it is an autonomic nervous system activated in the case of fight or flight fight or flight means this is a nervous system which helps us to cope the stress whenever there is a condition of fight or flight then a nervous system gets activated in our body that is sympathetic nervous system all those organs which can participate or cope help to cope the stress will be activated or stimulated while well, all those organs which will not participate to help in fight or flight that will be inhibited so same neurotransmitter will be released that is norepinephrine or epinephrine same neurotransmitter or if we are giving the same drug in the whole body then how body recognizes that some organs should be activated or stimulated and while the some drug some um, organs should be inhibited so answer to the simple question is does this occur just because of distributions of receptors sympathetic nervous systems receptors due to the distribution of receptors there is a difference in the response by a particular organ now those receptors which are in the sympathetic nervous system these are termed as these receptors are adrenergic receptors adrenergic receptors adrenergic receptors are of two types they are classified as alpha receptors and beta receptors Adrenergic receptors, those which is present in sympathetic nervous system, are present in the uh, autonomic nervous system as adrenergic receptors, classified as alpha adrenergic receptors and beta adrenergic receptors. They are further categorized as alpha into alpha 1 and alpha 2, while beta into beta 1, beta 2 and beta 3 this beta 3 is modified form of beta 1 adrenergic receptors are classified as alpha adrenergic receptors which have further categories alpha 1 and alpha 2 adrenergic receptors while the beta adrenergic receptors have types beta 1 beta 2 and modified beta 3 all the body organs to be stimulated must have those receptors which helps them to stimulate. Among these receptors, some are stimulatory receptors and some are inhibitory receptors. Stimulatory receptors. Stimulatory receptors will be those receptors which will help to stimulate the organs. And inhibitory receptors. Inhibitory receptors will be those which will inhibit the organs. So, among these, which are stimulatory receptors and which are inhibitory receptors? The simple concept is that those receptors among these all, which are having the digit 1, which are having the digit 1, these are stimulatory receptors. So, that is, yes, alpha 1 and beta 1. And all those receptors which are having digit 2 that are termed as inhibitory receptors. What are those? Yes, alpha 2 and beta 2 receptors. So all those organs in the body which have stimulatory receptors, alpha 1 and beta 1, will be stimulated during sympathetic. 
lymphatic outflow and all those organs which are having alpha 2 and beta 2 will be inhibited during sympathetic flow. We are talking about sympathetic flow. From where the sympathetic flow originates? Yes? And you know about it? That from where sympathetic uh, outflow originates? It originates or the center of it is in the hypothalamus. It is in the hypothalamus. There is a limbic system. Yes, here there is hypothalamus where the pituitary gland is also present. So this hypothalamus is responsible for sympathetic outflow. Actually, this, this hypothalamus have two regions. This is a section of a hypothalamus. Hypothalamus has anterior lateral side and posterior lateral side. It's marked it like this. This one, this is anterior, anterior lateral side because it is in the anterior. And this one, it is posterior lateral side. Anterior lateral side is responsible for parasympathetic action, for parasympathetic nervous system, while the posterior lateral side is responsible for sympathetic nervous system. So, for sympathetic flow, posterior side of posterior lateral side of hypothalamus should be activated, which will lead to polyneuronal neuronal pathway and this leads to sympathetic outflow. By the sympathetic outflow, there are some neurons propagating, making here sympathetic ganglia. There is a cell body of a neuron and this is a nerve ending. In the sympathetic nervous system or in the autonomic nervous system, this nerve ending, this Nerve ending will release norepinephrine. That is a neurotransmitter. Norepinephrine will be released at a neuroeffector site. Why this is termed as a neuroeffector site? Because whenever there is neurotransmitter release, then next to that is effectors. Neurocyte and here are effectors. Effectors could have receptors. Yes, it can have alpha 1. These are seven transmembrane receptors. It can have alpha beta 1 or it could have beta 2. But the alpha 2 that is present presynaptically. It is present presynaptically. Yes. Alpha 1 receptor, the alpha 2 receptor is a type of advantage receptor which is present transmembranely but on the presynaptic membrane. Among these receptors, one is present presynaptically and others, the other three are postsynaptically present. If we say that simply that all those which are having which are to be stimulated during sympathetic outflow should have alpha 1 receptors except means we said that these two are stimulatory so all the stimulatory organs should have alpha 1 receptors beside the exception that cardiovascular system cardiac heart by symbolically we can represent on the heart there is beta 1 on the adipocytes Yes, and on dextra below that apparatus. On these three, there is a beta 1 stimulated receptors, and then that these three, all the stimulated receptors, these organs are having alpha 1 receptors. Clear? Now, we were talking about sympathomimatics. Sympathomimatics is a type of the drugs which will mimic the action of sympathetic nervous system. They're also termed as sympathetic. Agonist. Yes, agonist of all which bind to the receptors and stimulate that receptors. They have affinity and efficacy. Both. Now, on the sympathomimatic drugs, these drugs, it could be classified as direct acting and 
indirect acting. As the name indicates, direct acting means all those sympathomimetic drugs which binds with the receptors and stimulate the receptors. Which stimulate the receptors. And indirectly acting sympathomimetic drugs are all those drugs which alters the sympathetic outflow and increases the release. Yes, they increases the release of norepinephrine. They do not act on the receptors. They will act on the site, on neural neural site, and change it produces some changes and increase the norepinephrine release. While direct acting are those which will stimulate the receptors. We will study first about direct acting drugs. We can classify these direct acting drugs according to the receptors. Yes, direct acting. Now these direct acting could be those which act on alpha 1, yes, those which is acting on alpha 2, those which acting on alpha 1, beta 1 and slightly beta 2. And third, fourth one, those which is having equal affinity and efficacy with alpha 1, beta 1 and beta 2. Then specifically for beta 1 and then beta 1 and beta 2. Yes, those that are acting, direct acting drugs which act on alpha 1 receptors, the, uh, the example includes phenyl ephrine. Phenyl ephrine, the drug included which when direct acting sympathomimetic drugs directly stimulating alpha 1 receptors is phenyl ephrine. Those stimulating alpha 2 are clonidine and alpha methyl dopa. Can you observe something here that by alpha 2 activation, reuptake will be more? Less norepinephrine and less sympathetic effect. This is an exception. Then the drugs which is acting on alpha 1, beta 1, and slightly on beta 2 is, yes, it's norepinephrine. While the drug which is having affinity for all these equally have is called as epinephrine. And thus, a drug which acts directly on beta 1 receptor. Is a hormone released by our body given when cardiac output is less, there is a chance of renal neuropathy that is dopamine. And the non-selective adrenergic stimulant that is yes, isoprotarinol. So these are sympathomimetic drugs which is acting directly on the receptors. We will study first about more enough day but will in the next lecture thanks for watching the video keep watching the videos and don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you